what's up guys welcome to another episode of the vlog my name is indira ganga i just wanted to come on here and do a very quick live on the sentencing of george floyd now it's been quite a roller coaster of emotions the first year and the first couple of months with the world following the brutal murder of george floyd's out in the streets in the united states of america it was horrifying watching his murder and then we had to endure the pain of watching the trials and having to relieve those moments as a global audience but this cannot even amount to what his family went through and yesterday um derek chauvin was sentenced and he has been sentenced to 22.5 years in prison and this is what i have to say to this he deserves every single day that he will spend behind those jail bars and you know why because there's no single way you can go out in the streets um operate with impunity and commit atrocious acts and think that you're going to get away with it so for that i really applaud the justice system in america for once 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 standing up for black people standing up for george floyd standing up for his family standing up for his kids it was really really important that derek chauvin got what he deserved it doesn't bring george floyd back it doesn't make up for what he did not even by a single bit but america and the world is only going to be fair to people of color and black people if we begin acknowledging all the wrongs that we've done them and start rectifying them by giving them justice i mean so many people have lost their lives in very um controversial circumstances in the hands of the police and not just in the united states of america it's happening in the uk it's happening in france it's happening in canada it's happening in australia it's happening every single place it's happening in africa in nigeria young people were recently protesting say answers back in nairobi david callington minus family a Leeds University student has not gotten justice. So the sentencing of Derek Chauvin is a good step in the right direction. I mean, I was always nauseous every time his lawyer stood up to speak for him and defend him. And I know the lawyer had a job, like it's his job to defend Derek Chauvin, but you cannot rationalize the fact that somebody was murdered in cold blood in the streets. And this person was begging for mercy. He was begging for his life. And George Floyd is not the only one to be murdered. There's Breonna Taylor. You guys, the authorities have even refused to acknowledge that she was murdered. Instead, compensation was made for shooting at the house and the cardboard instead of acknowledging that an innocent person who was at the safest place that somebody can ever be, her home, was shot and murdered like guys i don't know if you're watching this just talk to me i don't know how you rationalize this i mean black people have been a part of america for a long time black people are america because america was built on the back and sweat of these people on the back and sweat of their blood and their tears so for them to be treated as outsiders for them to be treated as the other race for them to be treated as second class citizens, it doesn't make sense i don't know about you but all in i didn't even feel like i saw remorse on george or on rather derek chauvin's face i didn't see any sort of remorse there wasn't any form of regret it's just he wasn't even he didn't look to me i don't know maybe look to you but to me he didn't he didn't look like somebody who was apologetic and regretted what he did and i don't even know how he sleeps with himself every single night because if you just do one wrong thing to somebody, you'll feel so bad, so, so bad that you never want to piss them off again or you never want to cross the line. Imagine kneeling on somebody's neck for more than eight minutes, you guys. More than eight minutes. You're kneeling on this person's neck. They're begging you, begging for life, begging for mercy recently i saw some footage though it really traumatizes me but i had to force myself to sit through it and this person was saying look at me man i'm your brother look at me i'm your i'm your brother that's somebody begging begging for their life the, that's what the system has reduced black people to begging begging for their life and for somebody to say look at me man 
and your brother and you don't even look at them you keep doing to them what you like you must be really messed up up here in 2016 i was doing my internship i was quite young i was just fresh from school i also saw some footage of a black person who was shot he was lying down on the streets and the police just shot him i think in the chest or the or the stomach area and i was i was so traumatized for days this is me watching from an outsider's perspective i cannot begin to imagine or fathom what black americans in america go through every single day living in a place where everybody is helping on making you feel like you don't belong yet the truth of the matter is you belong the truth of the matter that that is just your home in as much as it's the home of other races white brown whichever you want to classify people in so this ruling is very 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 fundamental justice needs to prevail however there's there's, there's something that i agree with tamika j malori and she says if the perfect murder has to happen on camera and the whole world has to protest for justice to prevail, then there's still a problem there. Because imagine, you'd imagine that after the shooting of George Floyd, or rather after the killing of George Floyd, forgive me for that, the police brutality would end, or rather targeted police brutality against black people and color people in America would end. People are still getting shot. People are still being tased for no reason. People are still being murdered in streets in broad daylight. And that just makes you wonder, what is the problem? What is the problem? What is it about systemic racism that we're not getting? What is it that some people cannot get out of their head and understand that the privilege that they've had for very many years is hurting black people, is retrogressive instead of being progressive? In as much as justice has prevailed, George Floyd's daughter is going to grow up without a father. Nothing makes up for that. Nothing makes up for that. A life has been lost. Brianna Taylor lost her life at the prime of her youth. And nothing is going to bring her back, irrespective of how much money is paid in settlement, irrespective of how many years the people who shot, shot her will get in jail. Nothing will make up for the fact that George Floyd is never coming back and Breonna Taylor is never coming back. And that's why the justice system must be very strict in ensuring that anybody that does anything that hurts another person, anyone that crosses that line, police officer or not, is apprehended, is prosecuted and convicted by the law do i think that the 22.5 years are worthy of what he did no if it was up to me i'd rather he spends his whole life behind bars because what he did is outrightly murder but in real sense that's wishful thinking um just by the i don't even want to say mere fact but it's a mere fact that a white policeman has been prosecuted and convicted for the murder of a black person man we're gonna take it we're gonna take it no matter how small no matter how big we're gonna take it and now more prosecutions need to happen we need to see justice for Breonna taylor justice for each and every other single person that has lost their life in the hands of the police we need to see key structural changes in policy that protect black people not just in america but across the world you know voices need to be had unless the death of these people was just in vain you know I, I i don't know what you guys think you can always talk to me in the comment section what you think about the conviction of um um derek chauvin do you think he deserved the 22.5 years that he got for me i want him to be miserable in prison and just feel he will never feel the pain that george floyd and his family felt but i hope this experience will just be as painful for him so he learns his lesson so even when he leaves prison, he can go and tell some of his friends, even if not for the respect of human life, just don't murder somebody or don't cross the line because life on the other side of birth is not funny. Guys, I don't know me. I want to hear from me. I want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear what your thoughts are from all this Derek Chauvin thing. Do you think he deserves the time that he's gotten? Um, did you think he should have gotten more time? And do you think that this, this will be a monumental ruling? Is it going to change 
certain things? Is it going to change the way black people looked at in America? Is it going to ensure that justice prevails? Are we going to see the people who murdered Breonna Taylor getting prosecuted? Before we finish the video, shout out to Tamika D. Mallory. I love that woman. I love what she stands for. I love what she's fighting for. A happy belated birthday to her. She just turned 40. And power to you, girl. Anybody that's fighting for black people and, and fighting to end systemic racism and provide um, justice and, and, and give black people the dignity that they deserve to live a dignified life in a land that they've paid their dues for. And that is America. Then I'm here for it. I'll see you in the next video, guys.